Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylum. And he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. has been identified as 28-year-old Mars Sapientia. Although Officer Sapientia allegedly reported for duty at his appointed time, fellow officers say he disappeared soon after and has not been sighted since. Officer Sapientia is a tall, fair-skinned male and was last seen wearing his Border Patrol fatigues. Anyone with information on Officer Sapientia's whereabouts are requested to contact the Crown City Police immediately. And now a word from the Public Information Bureau. Today marks the anniversary of the founding of the Kingdom of Lucis. The Founders Day Committee has prepared a number of attractions in honor of this auspicious occasion, including a parade around the Citadel, as well as a statue of the Founder King himself. All are welcome and encouraged to participate in today's festivities. This has been a message from the Public Information Bureau. What about you? Now, onto the weather. Shouldn't you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City, we expect mild oh, and sunny no. weather with nothing but blue skies. I'm on special the assignment. may experience some inclement weather, starting in the evening and continuing throughout the night. <sighs> that concludes today's news and weather. <sighs> Good afternoon, one and all. How are you all doing? This is uh, the final DLC ever for Final Fantasy XV. <clears throat> Episode Arden. With his smug walk. So this is the city's song. Unaware of the war beyond their wall. That's why it's beyond the wall. In order to ensure the safety of all festival goers, we ask that you please follow all staff instructions. Vehicular access will also be limited in some areas around the Citadel for the festival's duration. In addition, Traffic will be stopped entirely during the parade. We thank you for your cooperation. What need is there to worry when brick and mortar blinds them to the suffering outside? Why venture out into the world when you feel so safe within? <sighs> what a life to live. They're all just this clapping at a statue. The statue of the Founder King? I see the sculptor took quite a few liberties. <laughs> Looks that way. So what do you think, son? Not every day you get to see the king's personal bodyguards up close. They're so cool! I want to be a royal guard someday! Those aren't royal guards. And that must be the king's castle. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we should. Okay. Okay. No, no, of course. Yeah. I want yeah. yeah. to. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Let the fireworks begin. Uh, fireworks? Oh, there we are. quiet There are chapters to this? Huh. Don't remember the other episodes having chapters. Uh, Arden. Oh, Arden. You can't expect me to believe that. <gasps> oh, but I do. You have my word. <laughs> well, in that case... Ah. <laughs> <sighs> You look exhausted, my love. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Hmm. Ah. The gods bless me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. I must see their will be done. Your devotion shall not go unnoticed. The gods will doubtless be watching over you. Just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> it seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. Oh? And the other? <laughs> is me. Giggity. <laughs> 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 a marginally different scene. Just as the ancient texts told. Uh, who? Take him away. It's the Emperor. Oh. 
Don't uh, touch me. We never really got to see Angel Guard, so this is new. Status report. Everything is fine here. Roger that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just... Ooh! I think something doesn't want Arden to leave. Oh dear. Hey fellas. A wadgium? Get it back in the cell. No matter what. We can't let that thing off this island. Now, fair enough. Fair enough. I understand. Please stop hitting me. Yep. Stop. Cease this. Cease this. At once! Arden enters overkill when his HP falls to zero. While in this undying state, his attacks deal more damage, but his maximum HP falls every time he takes a hit. When Arden's maximum HP falls to zero, the game is over. Oh, okay. Where'd the other one go? There you are. Bonk. Unlimited power. Press circle to attack with your arsenal of royal arms. Hold circle to blitz the enemy with consecutive attacks. Oh wow, okay. Oh, bye. What was that? I don't know what that like triangle counter is, but it's very useful. Uh, square to dodge incoming attacks. Hold square to quickly shadow step around the field. Oh wow, that's interesting. When do I get, a, like, more weapons to my arsenal? Land five successful strikes to perform a finisher and create an opening to demonify the enemy. Okay. Press triangle while the enemy, the enemy is vulnerable to demonify them and harvest their life force. Oh. Okay.
Why were they calling him Adagium? Don't recognize that word. Not from like the main game anyway. A lot of loading screens in this episode. <clears throat> I've actually been playing through this game a lot again recently. Don't know why. Just sort of uh, tickled my fancy. I assume that's going to be like a more open and long chapter. Forgive me, brother, but the throne seats only one. And that's basically why Arden's now a bad guy. Nizunia, Chief Bisithia would like to see you. I still don't know where he got the name Izunia. New information has been added to the data log. Review it from the archives menu. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. A couple of these journal entries. <sighs> Nothing here to interest me. The archives hold memories from your journey. Photos that you view, photographs you've taken, data log legs you re research. Review research materials and enemy information. Uh, what's the Rak Rakshasa blade? Oh, that's our current sort of main sword. A sword that stayed at Arden's side for roughly 2,000 years, flying forth at his command one half of a pair. The Rakshasa blade was forged alongside the blade of the mystic, beloved glaive of Arden's younger brother Somnus Lucius Kylum. Both blades possess different properties, forming a devastatingly destructive arsenal when wielded together. While one can assume both swords were imbued with the hope that the brothers uh, the brothers Kylum would rule in tandem, envy and ambition ultimately tore the two apart. Okay, Chief Basithia's Journal number one, Demons. I was but a boy when I saw my first demon, a wild canine run afoul of the Plasmodia. The fear uh, that should have consumed me was itself engulfed by an intense excitement, much like the dark miasma that spreads across the land and blots out any trace of life, light or life. Some might deem me a madman, vilifying me for researching a wicked plague that brings naught but death. However, be it the magic technology of old or the demons of our day, understanding that which we fear is a vital step towards enlightenment. <laughs> Uh, Chief Bethis, fucking hell, Bethisia's journal, the Star Scourge. The plague that ravaged our star centuries ago died out for a time, and with it went all knowledge of the monsters it spawned. Yet since the discovery of a mutant strain of Plasmodia here on our very soil, that ominous word has re-entered our lexicon, demon. What caused this scourge to resurge? 
I hypothesize that it began with the rise of our population that began in the latter half of this millennium. While the adapt adoption of Magi technology has vastly improved life for citizens across the Empire, the territorial expansion it enabled may also have reactivated Plasmodia that remained dormant for many years. If so, then the true spread of the Star Scourge may have only just begun. Arden can equip a variety of gear. Uh, an icon legend can be viewed from the main menu. Uh, Arden, uh, royal arms, and nothing else. Interesting. Might as well head out. Interesting. Okay. I could kill you if I wanted. Just thought you should know. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> uh. I dare say this outfit wasn't tailor-made. Not the most enthralling view. Are you kidding me? I love it. More of a mountain man myself. Another journal entry. Uh, Chief Basithia's journal, Adagium. Although I long dismissed it as some foolish fairy tale, the recent discovery of an ancient text tucked away in one of the kingdom's royal tombs has convinced me. Adagium is real. According to the tome, this inhuman entity born of the darkness has lived in the shadows of Angel Guard for some two millennia. Perhaps the Lucians feared its supposed superhuman strength and potential for destruction. Yet to let such power go untapped would be incredibly wasteful. The military may have scoffed at us researchers for the lack of tangible progress in our Magitech infantry and the demonic studies, but if we harvest this immortal monster and harness the secrets it holds, we may indeed laugh last. So here we are. Hello friends. Your Imperial Majesty. Come, have a seat. <sighs> Gods above, we thank you for the bounty you have laid before us. Don't want your food getting cold, do you? Are you enjoying your stay? No. <laughs> You've been asleep that for years. Blunt. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. It's creepy how much he looks like Prompto. But then I guess Prompto was essentially cloned from him. Was your examination of me a fruitful one? Oh yes, you've proven far more fascinating than expected. <laughs> no wonder they kept you locked away. To think the powers of a demon could dwell within the heart of a man, it's incredible. The Star Scourge doesn't sap your life force, it gives you more. Your cells can regenerate themselves, and you can demonify other life forms as well. There's no doubt you a are monster. not a monster, a marvel. <laughs> I can't wait to unravel all your mysteries. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days, roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. So you've been here for the you blink of an eye. You must know those Lucians for what they did to you. Uh. What is this food? Meat. Cloned in this facility. D cloned? 
We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocytes, and then we... Enough! I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. That... What is it you want Kind of puts me, me off a little bit. What from about me? That food. <laughs> you, so. you said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Come along. Wait. Shiny. Okay, I'm coming. Wait for me. Is it enjoying that music? Level is Arden anyway. Twenty-three. Couldn't you walk slightly faster? This is the like, fruit holy of my shit. labor. A small portion of it, that is. I like that 3D map thing in the middle. I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on, have a look. <laughs> No. Oh. The Dragon of Telpar. The team we dispatched to the Telpar crag has returned with a fascinating report. Their landing craft came under assault by a flying dragon as soon as they entered the valley. Hearing their story, I could not help but recall a passage I once read about the legendary Blade Master, which stated he guarded the Founder King with his glaive in hand and his dragon at his side. This would mean the creature they encountered has been guarding that gorge for nearly two millennia. And if one of these Lucian legends has proven true, then perhaps the kingdom's fairy tales are more than mere rumours after all, even the whispers about the undying. I don't remember any dragons, although there might have been one of the bosses in um, episode Gladio. The Rock of Ravato. Acting on a tip we received from a friend in the private sector, we have sent an excav excavatory expedition to the top of the Rock of Ravito. Unlike the immovable Archean at the Disk of Corthus, the body of the Infernian should be unobstructed and ready for transport, assuming our team can reach the peak, that is. Legends say the Infernian bestowed a gift of fire upon mankind in antiquity, and this burning wisdom helped forge the foundation of what became the civilization of Solheim. And now, with the fabled flame within my grasp, I take my first step towards the divinity. Tis a wondrous day, indeed. That makes sense, because there is that little cave at the top of the Rock of Ravito. And that must have been what it was. Uh, the Draconian. Of all the gods above, least is known about the Draconian. Neither a tutelary deity nor a regular fixture in written records, the Blade Keeper has left behind nary a trace save for his name. Some legends suggest he selected a king to lead Lucis and bestowed upon the Chosen One the fabled ring and crystal. In my opinion, it all sounds like the type of tall tale the royal family might concoct to justify their hold on power. But perhaps we can explore the matter in more depth by paying a visit to Lucian's confidants in Tenebrae. That's about Bahamut. Bahamut? Bahamut? Ooh. Demons. Nice. Uh, next, godliness. I've made a discovery both startling and astounding. The monster known as Adagium is none other than Arden Lucis Kylum, older brother to the founder king of Lucis. Words cannot describe the sense of elation that 
uh, enveloped me knowing that I was able to converse with a creature who has lived for hundreds of years. His powers do not cease to amaze. Not only can he absorb the demonic miasma into his body, but he can pass the plague onto others as well. He also claims to have gained a glimpse into their psyche when doing so, relived their memories, so to speak. If this is true, then it would seem this man has been blessed with both eternal life and unlimited wisdom. He's practically a god in his own right. Demons were first officially recognized as a new species roughly 200 years ago. According to ancient texts, however, Humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Infected creatures begin to disperse miasmal particles, the spread of which is known as the Star Scourge. I love that they scienced demonification. In this this model is a replica made from plaster poured into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun. That would make sense. That adding to my data log? It is. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. This is our world? It has been estimated that Eos came into existence some 4.5 billion years ago. Ancient myths tell tales of six protector gods who first landed upon Eos in the ancient Solheim era. Fossils thought to be remains of the oldest members of the human race were discovered in the Pistala region. I don't know if there was supposed to be a picture there, but there wasn't. Some claim that humans discovered fire in the Sukarp region even before the dawn of the Solheim civilization. Ifrit. According to legend, the fire god Ifrit first bestowed his burning wisdom upon a man who later sat the throne of Solheim. The mechanized civilization of Solheim is presumed to have originated in the Disguy and Klang regions. Exactly when the civilization rose and fell, however, remains the subject of much investigation. Hmm. Explain some the of the ruins. The enormous crevasse separating the regions of Klain and Duskai is known as Telpar Crag. It is here that the War of the Astrals is said to have taken place. When Ifrit tried to reduce mankind to ash, the other gods fought back, and some claim this clash caused the collapse of Solheim. It is said that Ifrit, having lost the War of the Astrals, was interred atop the Rock of Rabato. After the war, the ice goddess Shiva allegedly sank into a deep slumber, nestled in the Gorvas Rift of Volup. You became Gentiana. To this day, no one knows what became of the Blade God, Bahamut. The Earth God, Titan, can be seen supporting the meteor at the heart of the disk of Kothis in the sky. As for the storm god Rama, legend has it he sealed himself I would say away Ramu, within but... Fosha Hollow in the sky. The sea goddess Leviathan disappeared in the wake of the war. Some say she swam below the waves and slumbers beneath the city of Altitia. Some 2,000 years ago, the gods granted Somnus Lucis Kylum two gifts, the sacred stone and ring. With these in hand, he founded the kingdom of Lucis. In the centuries since, Lucis has managed to expand its territory while struggling to suppress a parasitic plague. As of ME 722, Moore's Lucis Kylum sits the throne as the 112th monarch of his line. Regis Lucis Kylum is King Moore's firstborn son and first in line to succeed his father. Angelguard, off the coast of Golden Key, is an uninhabited island that Lucians regard as sacred ground. Ancient texts tell of a monster known as Adagium supposedly sealed away within, but investigations into its existence have yet to provide conclusive evidence. 
I still don't understand why Noctis can't go there. Soon after the establishment of the Kingdom of Lucis, House Fularei founded the nation of Tenebrae. The Empire began its occupation of Tenebrae in ME359, a move that was initially met with much apprehension. Like... In order to assuage the dissenters, the Empire preserved the Oracle's home of Fenestala Manor. This concession was partially made for political purposes. House Fleuret enjoys close ties with the line of Lucis. If you were to take the royal vessel and sail to uh, Angel Guard, you get rejected. It says that you can't go on holy ground until you've received the blessings, which is really strange. The Accordo Protectorate has developed into a bustling league of towns at the heart of maritime trade. In ME 606, the Empire won an important battle against the Allied forces of Lucis and Accordo, and in turn, annexed the Protectorate. The country is steeped in traditions and cultures that are incompatible with Imperial rule, so the Empire has permitted it a measure of relative political autonomy. In other words, they're neutral. Centuries after the founding of Lucis, a movement to revive the lost civilization of Solheim arose around the Weltham region. Leading the charge was House Aldercat, whose brave deeds brought about the rise of the Niflheim Empire. The Empire I always thought it was Aldercat. technology and employed it for military use. This new firepower helped the Empire fell its foes, taking Tenebrae in ME359 and Accordo in ME606. As of ME722, under the direction of Emperor Aedilus Aldercat, the Empire is developing new arms fusing Magitech with demons. I also would have said Iodalus. Good thing this these are voiced. That the ancient Solheim civilization can still be seen in the ruins of Piteus and Steel of Grove. Several ancient structures also dot the oh, forest of the Fall Grove. Like Castlemark Tower. Castlemark Tower. Excavation of these various sites is currently underway. In ME 501, during an expedition in the Ulwat region. The Imperial Army discovered a new species, known as Demons. Should've left them alone. You fucking doofuses! Oh. Uh, combating Lucian magic. The Lucian soldiers' reliance on their monarch's magic is nothing new, nor do I expect the armed forces to switch up their strategy in the near future. It thus stands to reason that we ought to devise a plan to inhibit their abilities by whatever means necessary. I've given much thought to the idea of suppressing the Lucian's magic, and while it will be some time until we have a working prototype, I believe we should have a fully functioning jamming device added to our Magitech arsenal before long. Further combat data would certainly help speed along the development process. Especially data related to the Divine. What a thrill it would be to take down a god using the form of one of the one of their helpers. At center, we see what I presume to be Lucian warriors and the kings of Yore. I've learned a great deal about the first king of Lucis, but I never knew he was second in line. It seems to depict a legend in which the Chosen King dispels the darkness. If that's true, does that mean Lucis intends to someday stand above all other? <laughs> Their trifling tales mean nothing in the face of our superior technology. Only we can restore balance to our world. At the top of the painting, we see the Oracle herself. The bloodline of the Oracle is one of the oldest in Eos. Originating with Eromirus Flore. Only they possess the power to commune with the gods. This painting depicts the Oracle as some goddess of light herself. She'd doubtless prove a powerful ally if she could be persuaded. On the sides of the frame, we see the Hexathion. Conspicuously absent is the traitorous god of fire who started the Great War of Old. Perhaps developing a deeper understanding of the demons will bring us closer to comprehending their divine counterparts. But what if I were to find a way to combine those two disparate elements? By my estimation, the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for us. 
ourselves. The line of Lucis was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos, and with the Divine on their side, how could they fail? Hmm. Ooh, ooh. They have some in here. What does it do? Hey, little guys. Given the demons of her He doesn't if seem harmed. Spells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. Yeah. Yep. It stings. Yeah. Like the light of the sun. Perhaps. Uh, I'd best cover up. That explains why he wears the hat. and found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. This must be how the gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model I of imperial that. territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. That's ambitious. Feel free to have a look. I already have. There's something you should see. Come with me. You'll get tired of that cape. I found something most interesting on the Rock of Ravito. If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. I think that's the last journal. Yes, it is. Uh, the Messengers. While few written records referencing the divine host of messengers remain, our excavator excavatory expedition to Telpar Crag has uncovered some interesting information via word of mouth while investigating the surrounding area. Based on what we've heard, the demigods fought alongside the deities they served in the War of uh, the Astrals. With the followers of the traitorous Infernian being all from a, all being all from erased from the annals of history, after suffering defeat at the hands of the other gods, little else is known about the messengers. But I'm determined to discover more about these fascinating creatures. partner What's ah, that? There he is. Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> Who subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. That's a very good point. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. 
It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Yes. <clears throat> Come see the fruits of my Magitech research. The fruits. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them, which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. Well, no, the X button is the key to unlocking the door. Ooh. Am I ready for what? Under attack. But how? Kunmi squad, Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting engagement. backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so, you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Good luck with that. This has got to be an Imperial trick, right? Hello. Demonify enemies to fill the plaza, uh, the phantasm bar and conjure sp spectral arms to increase your attack power. Hi. Oh wow, I have like a bunch of them. Jesus Christ. Look how many little blades I have. You are fucked. Look at them all. Is that not five? There we go. Hold R1 and press triangle when the phantasm bar is full to inflict royal retribution on your enemies. Oh. Okay. Are you just going to leave now? No. Blast! Uh... He's alive. You must stop him before he destroys everything. How did he wake up, anyway? There's still some royal guards. Let's kill them. Damned monster. Ooh, how did that happen? Oh, I guess it must have been the blindside strike. Ow. Okay. Super mode. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh, Invanian, grant me the power to take Somnus, his people, and his cursed kingdom, and burn them all to the ground! No! 
Kind of. I was the one chosen to be king. to Somnus, you had been chosen to be king. Huh? That was dumb of you. I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone, so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Era! Oh no! Era! Please! In the names of the gods above, Fulfill your calling, Arden, and punish me for my sin. Era. Kill me. That's right. Kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. <sighs> I... I can't. My calling is to save lives. <laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? I suppose it makes sense that Somnus is voiced by Ray Chase. <laughs> so what was the point in the button mashing? Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> She's a drama queen. Kill her, stop her dramatizing. I'll never forgive you, Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. <laughs> Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay. The path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread alone. 
<laughs> Not just her, all of them. Eliminate them. All of them. Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitech infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. Sounds kind of like Aranea. Previously existing data will be overridden. Motherfucker, what previously existing data? Also, I did not know that the guy playing the voice of Arden also played the voice of J. Jonah Jemison in Spider-Man, the, the game from last year. I can never unsee that. And some time ago, he's not even using a cane. He wishes us harm. <laughs> no shit. You stay here. <laughs> I am going to put a stop to this madman. It's clear he wishes us harm. Yes, he set a demonic fireman loose through the city. Well, time to set to work. Hello. Code red. I repeat, code red. Follow your commander's orders and get the situation under control. Is this truly the best Lucius can muster? Where's your head? Hello, friend. It's over. Have you identified the creature? Not yet. But we believe it to be Oh, that's cool. But how could it possibly withstand the daylight? For now, the 
citizens evacuate. The Vanguard will take care of the giant. Absolutely, sir. Hello. The Grounds Guard is almost wiped out, sir. Target is still on the move. Special forces are on the way. Try to hold out until they arrive. Thank you, Efret. Hello. <laughs> I missed. Why is there so many of you? Hold L1 and press the D-pad when the attack bar is full to make Ifrit perform a powerful technique. Ifrit will temporarily fight alongside Arden, issue another command to resummon him into the fray. Okay. I'm attempting to do just that. That wasn't as big as I was hoping it would be. Double kill. Reveling. As you wish, just sit back and enjoy the show. Ah, now, where in the world might those dastardly devices be? Disable a wall amplifier to seize control of the surrounding area. Check the map to view the location of the amplifiers. Wall amplifiers also strengthen the royal guards stationed around them. Disable the amplifiers to weaken the enemy's defensive capabilities. Hostiles. So he's done the... Okay. I've marked the location of all the devices they're using to amplify the wall. They seem to be positioned on rooftops around the city. Find them and destroy them. With pleasure. I'll be sure to keep you abreast of my progress. Uh, no rest for the wicked. How do I get onto the rooftop? Press L2 to quickly perform or L2 to perform a phantasmal leap and quickly point warp to mark location. Going. Oh. What is that? <laughs> I love how he holds his hat when he sprints. That's amazing. Whee! Destroy the nearby mana fonts to begin deactivating the wall amplifier. So hit it really hard. Oop. Really? Really? You crashing? It's already happened once. It's over. What are the chances that thing's gonna come alive and try and kill me? There we go. Defeat the newly activ activated guardian to disable the wall amplifier. Shadows step behind enemies and attack to blindside them. Successful blindside strikes can leave foes vulnerable to demonification. Blindside strikes cannot be performed while in an undying state. Okay. Hello. Prepare 
Oh, I've run out of mana. I didn't know that could happen. I'll have some more. Give me a hand, buddy. Turned that quite well with the music, I think. Oh, wow. You have overtaken Sector A. Hostile station there have been weakened. What is this? It's a hat shop. I'm in. One device down. It doesn't seem to have had any effect just yet. Keep going for now. Earn ability points by demonifying enemies, then use those AP to activate nodes on the Demonosphere and acquire new abilities to aid you in your quest. Oh! So is that one I already have? Yes. Double jump. Stats. And Ifrit. A sniper rifle. Okay. Now you mess with a man who's defensive with his vengeance. You better know they're better know what's really at stake. It's my turn now. Watch me retaliate. New technique. Let's take a double jump. That sounds handy. And that'll do for now. Sir? One of the wall amplifiers has been destroyed. But why would he target them? Is this a nip attack? We haven't sighted any Imperial soldiers inside or outside the wall, sir. Then they must have sent him to do their dirty work. Stop him at once! Little old me. Buy hats for Arden to wear and equip them from the gear menu. I don't know if they do anything. I think they're just there. Safety helmets for... Top hat. Oh, they do have stat uh, effects. Definitely taking the top hat. Alpha given to Adam upon his appointment as Imperial Chancellor keeps his skin covered as much as possible, avoids exposure to the light. Dash and cap for the Distinguished Gentleman enhances vitality but reduces maximum MP. No. Straw hat. A breathable hat, perfectly suited for summer, sunny summer day. Increases maximum MP but reduces fire and lightning resistance. A fancy informal hat for a man of just Discerning taste. Increase maximum HP and fire resistance, but reduces maximum MP. Okay. I'm gonna keep that just because they all seem to reduce my MP, and I like my MP. Nice. Are these worth picking up? Collect items around in Sunny and sell them at shops for money. Oh. Hello, friends. As you explore insomnia, destroy decorations and other objects related to the Founders Day Festival to boost your score. Oh. I don't know what the score does. 
trust no one. Bully, the pills is one scooping. The ones that break your neck in your sleep, that's how they do it. Like I can toy. Now you're messing with me. You can set to eat the drinks. You better know, they better know what's really at stake. It's my turn now. Watch me retaliate. Hey, Royal Arms may assault you without warning while moving about insomnia. Time your button press with your on screen prompt to gain the upper hand. That was thoroughly disappointing. <clears throat> Thing is, I hold circle to sprint. Circle is also attack. More from you. That's going to be hard to lose. What was that other thing? Hey, Lean Mean. Yeah, that. What's that? Vending machine. What can we get from the vending machine? Well, I remember that is there. Stop swinging at things, for goodness' sake. I assume it's for just regular items, like restorative items, more or less. I suppose I should get on to destroying all this shit. Not destroying shit. Oh, hi, friends. The uh, wall machines. Oh, there's more? Okay. Oh, yeah, that takes mana, doesn't it? Pretty perfume bottle. Hello. How tragically weak you are. It is. It is kind of tragic, yeah. Wee. Perhaps I'll take the high road. I saw that. No, my loot. There we go. Wee. There it is. Ha ha. Hi, my friend. We. What did I do? Oh. Okay. Behold! 
Oh, magic. Magic incoming. Bonk. Is this truly the best you can muster? Oh, I haven't actually, like, destroyed any of them. <laughs> And the Guardian, huh? We to the sky with you. Oh my god! Ow. Praise be to the gods above! In times of crisis, they call upon the kings of yore to come to their home. Bless their souls. I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, I got a mana circuit for each one. I'm gonna be rich. Another hat shop. Oh, I can actually clear these hostiles and collect all the treasure. That might be an off-stream thing that I do. Things are going swimmingly. Wonderful. Here's hoping you can continue unimpeded. Didn't quite get all the uh, demonifications. This has come on since you last played Final Fantasy. Yeah, this is the last DLC they're doing for 15. I must say, I expected more from you. Destroy. There we go. Oh, Final Fantasy 7? It's been a while since I played 7. Still got it on DS? I don't even have a DS anymore. <laughs> no, I have it on um, PC. Hi, friend. This is 
Oh, Pokemon? Yeah, I, I, I never got into Pokemon. Can't say you didn't try. You <laughs> suck a dead. Rude. It's got to be a chain of three, right? Yeah! Three chain. Two chain. Or not. Just one. The other one just died. That's fine by me. You really got to catch them all. I just never cared that much about the series. Come at me, bro. Oh, you're a ro uh, the rogue. Oh, where'd you go? Hello. if the different hat shops have different hats. I mean, I doubt it, but I guess it's a possibility. Don't think I'll ever be doing that. Yay, more particles. Oh, we're now then. M, P, A, P. Huh. Almost done. How does it look? Quite promising. We should be able to break through the barrier with a well-timed assault. You ought to evacuate lest you get caught on the crossfire. Yes. But there's something I must attend to first. I've got a king to kill. What? That wasn't part of the plan. I finished my work. Now it's time to play. Fuck your plan. No, man. You just stick to your plan and keep the boys in black busy for me. Now, off to see his majesty who lives in the house that Somnus built. What's the situation? Unfavorable. Radio guys, so, sounds like Kit from Knight Rider. Who is he? We can't identify him. But he's a skilled combatant. And he seems to have the Infernium under his control. I fear we must prepare for the worst, Your Majesty. Wee! Hmm. Time to head back down. Oh, that's awesome! I took away all my demonic arms, but it's still cool as fuck. There we go. Whee! Yeah. 
Hey, big guy. Blind side. Give me your soul. Give me more soul. You are not very good for a guardian, are you? Oh, a rogue has joined the battle. Excuse me, guardian, I'm just gonna need your uh, your soul a little bit here. Thank you. Blindsided a rogue. Did you miss? I'm confused. What happened? What are you doing? Oh, you've gone into like Super Saiyan mode. Where is it? You're over here. Hello. Ha! <laughs> you got fucking slammed by Ifrit. Finish her! Bonk. I think there's one more left. Oh no, there's three more left. Like, I know I can already continue, but... I'm a doom. That was really disappointing. I missed the roof. We're causing quite a stir down there. Uh, I didn't make it. This is very Devil May Cry music. Not the usual uh, Final Fantasy 15 music. A for effort. This is going to hurt. No, you, 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 ow. Okay. 
Funk. This is it. Let's finish you off. Two more. Hey, Adrian. Oh. So this is the main antagonist? Yes, it is. Blindside! <laughs> With that hat and scarf? Yeah! With that hat and scarf. I remember people complaining he didn't get enough screen time in the main game. I kind of agree with them. Should we get rid of that bloody shield? That's rude. Take that. There we go. Hey, dude. Owie. Blind side, bitch. Are they still coming at me? Ow. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Are we done? I think we're finally done. Okay, one more. I'd love to try that 100 combo attack. This is the wrong way. For a moment you thought that was the level up screen theme. Oh, it didn't work. That's weird. Bonk. Enjoy. 
Why isn't it working? Oh, it's a combo of a hundred, isn't it? Oh, it lets me fucking demonify them as well. That's amazing. How lucky you are to know the sweet release. Yep, use up those points. Let's go. Beat them up. This isn't the last one. Oh no, there's two more. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. And three of them. Oh, he turned around. Oh, he's gone. I can't understand you take that ridiculous helmet off. Nice Star Wars reference. Now, I want combo of a hundred. Oh, I'm in danger. Okay, in that case. An eye for an eye. Oh Jesus, I'm dead. I have no Phoenix Downs. Huh. Awkward. Okay, let's try this again. Hi. Well, I definitely plan to besmirch. You all missed me. You suck. Where's my blind side? That's annoying. I'm not blind siding. Really? Are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me with this? Nice targeting. Really? With this targeting? Gonna need a hand here, buddy. Take your souls too. Yeah. 
Owie, he hit me just before I got to fucking 100. That's very annoying. Is the only one that's been difficult so far? <laughs> Is this gonna be the same but with the rogue? Because that's gonna fucking suck if that's the case. The rogue is much harder. Oh, okay, no, we're just gonna have a rogue to deal with immediately. Right, you darling. There you are. Like that. Oh, you powered yourself up despite having no health. No blind side. Oh, I've invited another. Okay, there's another. Gone now. No. Any more? Must stop you. I'm stuck. You hang around for a little while. <laughs> I'm gonna need you in a minute. Where the fuck did she go? There she is. There it is. I think I missed. It's fine. She's fucking dead now! You're welcome, Emperor. You didn't try. <laughs> All the amplifiers have been destroyed. The enemy forces have begun their infiltration. I'm going in, as will I. No, Your Majesty. You must get to safety at once. I have sworn to safeguard the future of our nation, so I must be on the front lines. As you wish, Your Majesty. For the future of Lucis, together we fight. Break everything! Oh, hi, friends. This will do just. It's just being destroyed. We can't afford to lose. Attention, first wave personnel. Prepare for deployment. There we go. 
Is this truly the best Lucius can muster? No, no despair. Hi. Howie. Don't hold that now. This is crazy. Bonk. This is going to be my biggest chain yet. Four. Give me a hand, buddy. Praise be to the gods above. My combo is at 126. This was kind of unnecessary, I guess. I more wanted to warp strike to him. The free just disintegrated that poor guy. No, that's not very good when you don't have much, um, much of the power. Oh, here we go. Where are you? When I need you. I love it when a freak gets involved and they just disappear. I have some other business to attend to, so I'll leave you to yours. It's really funny. Why is my bed boss appearing? <laughs> uh, I think it just like refreshed or something. I don't know what it's doing. We'll just make you disappear, shall we? Anyway. And have him summon my beloved brother.
Something wrong, officer. Ah, oh, you must be His Majesty. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Why are you here? Why, for you. Ooh. The royal arms. Who are you? Ooh. You ought to know, being a man of royal blood yourself. Ah, Adagium. In the flesh. Here to bring the bloodline of Lucis to an end. So why doesn't he recognize? On my honor as king, I will vanquish you. Oh, having trouble keeping what up. An awful thing to say to your own ah. flesh and blood. Ah. Why doesn't Regis recognize um, Arden in the movie? Mine's better. Goodness sake. There it is. Now I have E for it to help me. Ooh, the sword of the father. How did you hit me with that? I was phase shifting. Me, bro. Okay. Oh, Efrid's still here. Didn't mean to do that. That's what I was looking for. There we go, now I get the full set. Ow. This wall shan't fall. Why the barrier? Maybe Ifrit can help. Why am I in the air? There we go. Oh, 
Give me a hand here, friend. I win. Just begun. <sighs> Summon the old war. Oh. How do you know about that? <clears throat> I've heard the souls of kings reside within those statues. <laughs> of course, that's only hearsay. Why not summon the wall so we can see for ourselves? Yeah. <sighs> what I wouldn't give for a chance to speak with the founder king himself. Come out, Somnus! The longer you wait, the longer he'll suffer! <laughs> huh? Huh? That's not right. Is he dead? Oh dear. Perhaps I don't know my own strength. Well, that's not very useful. Huh. Ah. Well, I'm waiting. You big. You a big lad. Who could have exiled me as a monster and erased me from the face of history? You tainted. Unfit to sit the throne. Please, brother, return to the darkness once you came. That's not very nice, is it? This is no beginning. Only the end. <laughs> okay. Meow. No escape. I don't like what you're doing there. Meet my friend. You get here and I'm inside some big dude's groin. That's the best play to be. Dance. Are they gonna hit him from here? Eh, not really. I would like to have sealed you away. You truly are a monster, brother. <laughs> Don't be facetious. The only monster here is you. Arden, your aerial combo is ass. Like, it is not great. How about a change of pace? Now then. Look sharp! I was neither powerful nor popular. 
just dangerous, perhaps. A hat and scarf wearing monster. The best kind. Turning into Attack on Titan, more or less. That's a big sword. <laughs> I can't hit him. He's too large. Am I supposed to, like, not die here? When I first donned the crown and put on the ring, when I first received my calling, I understood that the demons could not be allowed to remain in this world. That the sinners could not be allowed to set the throne! Lies, fairy tales, and fallacies, all of it! He's bigger than my friend. You gonna do the giant sword thing again? No. Over here. We haven't seen Hellfire. Fire, dark fire, this fire in my skin. <clears throat> what I did to you was unforgivable, but I did it for the future of our kingdom, of our people. A small sacrifice for the good of society. <clears throat> How noble. Our line has done everything in our power to protect our people. Just as the gods bade. I was merely fulfilling my calling. <laughs> and here I thought I was the blessed one. But it was you all along. I dare not ask your forgiveness. I do. Ask your understanding. What? You took everything from me. Everything. And you ask my understanding? I pray your soul find repose, brother. Ah. <sighs> You fucked up.
How did none of those hit Regis? I shall not let thee become a slayer of kings. <laughs> Why? Why do the gods deny me my revenge? Because thou hast been chosen to serve a different purpose. <gasps> to spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? Why must I continue to suffer? Have I not already sacrificed enough? The true king awakens, summoning the power of his forebears. He shall, at last, relieve thee of thy suffering. Then, the line of Lucis shall come to an end, and the revenge thou seekest shall finally be found. So it is ordained, and so shall it be. You say, I am not the savior of man, but his sacrificial lamb. And that I live only to die by the hand of the heir to an ill-gotten throne. That is the fate the gods have chosen to bestow upon me! Not once have I begged the gods for such a blessing. And I do not intend to kneel before you now. Thine impudence shall prove thine undoing, foolish mortal. <laughs> oh, I'm no mortal. I'm a monster. The path men tread was never meant for me. Mine is paved with blood and darkness. Pitiful creature. If thou wilt fight against fate, so shall it be. I assume this is like an alternate ending. Ooh. Ghosts do not but haunt my tortured soul. Please, Era, won't you free me from this curse? Pierce my heart if you must, but you will never kill my resolve. The gods who rule above and the men who reign below shall lend their strength to the king of kings. Only a fool would defy such opposition. Though mankind may not realize, everything in this world is preordained. Man exists solely by the grace of the gods and cannot live without. Resist if thou must. But know thy struggles are in vain. Yeah, I guess that was like an alternate ending.
Am I alive? Oh, does it matter? <sighs> Perhaps not. above, nor the accursed kings below. To hell with them all. as I have my revenge. I will spread this scourge across the earth, lure out this king of light, and kill him. Then, the entire world of Eos will be drenched in the darkness of despair for time eternal. <laughs> He's a madman. Right, skip that, do that last fight again, I hope, and, um, oh. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. Chapter four, oh, right, yeah, that's, uh, that's the main game. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to redo that, hopefully. Oh, brilliant, nice. Hopefully that last fight. And, um, do like the other choice. No, I don't want to share my certificate. Go away. New information added to the dead log. New hat shop open for business. Acquired the mutant Rakshasa blade. Acquired Arden's ensemble for Noctis. And acquired the kingly clash. Where is the load? Where I saved. That's handy. Because I want to know what the uh, other thing is, other ending. So the break's going to be a bit late. But Actually, I might go for a break now and then do the other ending and then do the kingly clash. All in this sort of all in one. And then if we have time, move on to Nier Automata and start my second playthrough of that. Suddenly Kingdom Hearts. This is just a Kingdom Hearts 4 prequel.
This is a long ass loading screen. I mean, I assume the ending is more or less the same, but even so. Right. I'm gonna go for a short break and make a fresh cup of tea, and then I will be back, and then we will uh, finish this DLC. So, I'll be back soon. Enjoy the break. Bye. Okay, try and do these fights as quickly as possible. Oh my! What big walls you have! All the better to look down upon his enslaved subjects from. Time to call in a favor with the king and have him summon my beloved brother. Hopefully, the acceptance ending explains how Regis just doesn't remember um, Arden. Arden's just sarcasm. Yay, he's vulnerable. Owie. Efrit going. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
punch, 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 punch. You missed. Ow. Never mind. Nice finish, if I do say so myself. But brother, what's wrong, dear brother? Too afraid to put down your expensive toy and come face me yourself? Let the game begin. This is no beginning. Come on, off you go. the end. This is monstrous. How could one so impure possess such power? Hi. Happened to the exact same dialogue at point. I have no idea how to dodge this. Now cut you down. So I guess I just won't. I can't really hit him. Falcon punch. This wretched nation to the ground. 
wonder if the music just stops if you don't press circle. Skip to the part that matters. I'm gonna skip this, I can. I think we'll go from here. Deny me my revenge! Because thou hast been chosen to serve a different purpose. <sighs> to spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? Soon, the true king will be born unto Lucis. He shall lead the people as their beacon of hope and drive away the darkness. In turn, thou shalt be his sacrifice. The limitless shadow that ushers in the light. Why must I continue to suffer? Have I not already sacrificed enough? The true king awakens, summoning the power of his forebears. He shall, at last, relieve thee of thy suffering. Then, the line of Lucis shall come to an end, and the revenge thou seekest shall finally be found. So it is ordained, and so shall it be. You say, I am not the savior of man, but his sacrificial lamb, and that I live only to die by the hand of the heir to an ill-gotten throne. That is the fate the gods have chosen to bestow upon me! Very shame. Defy thy destiny if thou dare. But know that it will grant thee a life of darkness unending, devoid of death's reprieve. What saved thee, Adagium? I mean, calling him Adagium is a bit of a dick move, really, isn't it? to serve the shadows and surrender to the scion of a usurper. So long as it brings the royal bloodline to an end. So long as I get my revenge. I will submit. As thou shouldst, the fate bestowed upon a man cannot be changed. Now go, fulfill thy calling. Did you two know about this? That I was meant to serve as some sacrifice? Did you keep this from me, Era? What about you, dear brother? Did you know? Answer me! That ruined the moment a little bit there, Googsy. <laughs> oh, does it really just give you the same fucking thing? That's a bit lame. Hey, Gootsy. How you doing? <sighs> Thanks for the raid. How am I doing? Not too bad. Am I alive? Not too bad. Kind of tired. Oh, does it matter? Perhaps not. 
Gotta run spoilers. Yeah, we're just finishing this up. I will, uh, I will tell you though, the choice at the end doesn't matter. I just did both of them. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing matters. None of it. Not the blessed gods above. Nor the accursed kings below. To hell with them all. Maybe this cutscene is different. All that matters is I have my revenge. I will spread this scourge across the earth, lure out this king of light, and kill him. Then, the entire world of Eos will be drenched in the darkness of despair for time eternal. Well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, uh, delicious lunch, and <laughs> sword aids. <laughs> Probably pronounced that wrong, I apologize. <laughs> I feel like the resist your fate kind of makes more sense to that. It's a bit of a shame that that cutscene isn't different depending on your choice. It's just a tiny bit of dialogue, but whatever. Alfred's still better. <laughs> I got it right. Sword aids. You're gonna have to explain that one. I meant to see who voiced um, Somnus. Did anyone see who voices Somnus? Fine, I can just watch these uh, credits another time. Because I can't find online who voices Sunless. It's probably because I didn't look in the right place. Have I still got the page open? I haven't. And, uh, okay, that cutscene is not different. Oh, it's not Ray Chase. Sounds a lot like him. Hmm, what a shame. That's the entire game ruined for you. Well, you know, have some noodles, I must be hungry. Dude, I had some fucking, I had a pot noodle earlier today because I hadn't had a pot noodle in fucking ages. It was so good. It explains a couple of other things as well. It explains how he recognised Gentiana. Also, the pot noodle people 
They're doing pot pasta now, and I might have to try one. Your ears don't like this. Yeah, they kind of kind of did that a bit loudly, didn't they? I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. Yeah, the resist your fate choice definitely seems to be the uh, more logical one for Arden. That's a... Is that noodle emote new? Yeah. You have no idea. I've never seen it before. I assume you guys have just discovered it. <laughs> yeah, Heckle discovered it today. Yeah, it shows. I still don't see what Kingly Clash is. Spar against the Chosen King and experience the true thrill of combat. I can fight against Noctis, that's awesome. Um, I still don't understand how Regis in the movie, the Final Fantasy XV movie, doesn't recognize Arden. I might have to do some research on that. You discovered it thanks to an NPC with a retarded name. An NPC? You mean a bot? I'm confused. Regis? Yes, King Regis loses Kylum. Also, you blame Googsy for that. That cap you. His name wasn't retired. You guys are. You guys are having like several different conversations here, I think. And I'm following like none of them. Helpless and hapless prince. Is he now ready to claim his crown? Don't let us down. It's cool that I get to do this fight from Arden's perspective. What happens if I win? Oh, a king at last. Nine? Only nine? Oh, I'm getting more from taking damage. A 
king in name alone. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to be here. Disappointed. Can't you do any better than that? Ten years, and nothing to show for it. You missed. Ow! Okay, fair enough. Yeah, fuck it. So if you could not, Gladio, stop throwing your fucking sword at me. Okay. I really want Pronto dead. <laughs> I don't know why he's like my primary target. Enough of that. Kick out of this. <laughs> Want some? This is not easy. Fucking Ignis, the master of dodging shit. What is hitting me? I think it's Gladio throwing his sword at me. Which he needs to stop fucking doing because it's lame. There we go, one down. If they Phoenix down him, I'm gonna cry. For goodness sake. I don't have Ephra, I just noticed. Well, I just realized more like. There we go, Pronto down. Two more to go. Should we get to like a more open area? That would be grand. sense but all right come 
come away from the wall, Gladio. Stop hitting me! Gladio takes so little damage, it's kind of irritating. Fucking warped right into Noctis and then blew him away. Oh, Noctis has gone Armager. I didn't know he could do that. This is fine, I'll just punch Gladio to death. Gotta watch my health though. Even with the dawn to break now, it will only bring the horrors to light. You have nothing left. I should heal. Over here. Blindsided. Would you put the shield down, Noctis? Let's not let that happen. I probably would have died. There we go. You think ten years is a long time? It is nothing to me. I have lived in darkness for ages. Is, is that it? Okay, that's it. I'm a contender of kismet. I don't know what that means. Oh, it means I got a C. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's... Uh that's episode Arden. I wonder if there's a, a reward for getting a certain rank on that.
one seems to have posted the uh, rewards just yet. But anyway, that's going to be it for episode Arden. We're going to do about an hour of... Um, got a few trophies. Going to do about an hour of um, my second playthrough. Going to start that on uh, Near Automata. But until then, thank you all very, very much on YouTube for, uh, for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed. And that's it for Final Fantasy XV Forever. Because that was the last DLC. So, you know. You can watch the rest of my uh, Final Fantasy XV playthrough. In a playlist somewhere. On my channel. On YouTube. But, uh. Until then. See you guys next time. Bye.